An unexpected catch. A champagne man found one strange fish at Kaufman Lake. I mean, it, it just really, really surprised me. Uh, I stayed away from the teeth. Scientists exploring the deep ocean floor have made some astonishing finds and they've put them on show, including one extraordinary fish that doesn't appear to have a face. Who knows how many more unknown and unusual creatures have yet to be discovered. From providing drinking water to offering habitat, rivers also teem with hidden mysteries. Ah! Be it a legendary monster of depths or mutant life forms supporting the odds. Hold your breath to watch this weird creature that crawled out of the river and left everyone baffled. Chupacabra In April 2023, folks in Paraguay stumbled upon the body of a legendary monster from American stories floating in the river. It turned out to be the Chupacabra, a creature linked to vampires that supposedly sucks the blood of livestock. The strange thing was no one had noticed it until it started decomposing. The creature's remains were on the riverbank and people got curious. Scientists were called in to check it out. But they didn't confirm if it was a real chupacabra. The creature had a mix of animal and human features, with hands that looked human. Researchers took the carcass away for investigation. But there's been no official word on whether it was a legit chupacabra or some other weird creature from beyond. Monster Foil Three students making a school video at Law Foil in Ireland spotted something strange in the water. They caught it on a shaky 59 second video, and it looked like the Loch Ness Monster. See it? Connell Malarkey, one of the students, shared the video on YouTube, saying it looked amazing, though he had no idea what it was. People thought it could be a big fish, whale, or dolphin since La Foil is connected to the North Atlantic. But despite many searches, no real proof has been found. This mystery still draws tourists to Scotland, and now La Foil has added its twist to the aquatic legend. Alien Fisherman A photograph taken along the Pilcamo River in Taraji, Bolivia, had sparked widespread interest in the netizens about a potential extraterrestrial being. The image shared on social media featured a semi-transparent entity with elongated limbs, resembles the commonly known gray alien. UFologists cautioned against hasty conclusions and emphasized the need for a thorough investigation to determine authenticity. But here's the fun fact, the region's history of UFO sightings and unexplained entities suggests a connection to abundant minerals and potential dimensional portals. Yeah, right. Anyways, our extraterrestrial guest didn't find the fish it was looking for in the river, but did get famous. Fossil Fiasco In these fences along the river, you see things like this. That. It was okay to find fish in a net, but discovering an ancient fish caught in a fence was truly unbelievable. Eight years ago in Texas, an explorer stumbled upon a surprising sight while assessing the aftermath of a massive hurricane. As the flood water receded, a three-foot dino-like bony fish with hard armor scales was found trapped in a metal fence. It turned out to be a juvenile long-nosed gar. That is a gar. Long nose or a needle nose gar. Perhaps it tried to swim through the chain-link fence during the high flood, but unfortunately it couldn't make it to the other side and ended up stuck, forming a sort of fossil if you notice, all the gar that we're looking at, we're trying to swim back towards the main river. Extension Neck <laughs> A group of individuals was chilling on a boat in a river. When the man who was filming the beautiful reflection of the lights in the water captured something straight out of a mythological book. That's right, a creature with a long, thin neck swam across the boat. However, the neck seemed to be attached to a huge body with a face that of an underwater reptile. You might guess it isn't the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> but before we jump to common conclusions, we are not sure what it might be doing wanting to crash a cruise party. But maybe the creature that looks like water-type Pokemon also wanted to have a conversation. Who knows? 
massive salamander. Those Anzaki noodled. Back in 2016 in Japan, this creature was quite a treat. It was as dangerous as it looked, and catching it was no easy task. The creature had a massive mouth and was fiercely trying to escape the man's grasp, repeatedly attempting to bite him with its sharp teeth. Its slippery nature made it challenging to catch. Rather on land or in various environments, these Japanese giant salamanders were equally hostile. They were the third largest in the world, reaching up to five feet in height. People also called them the living dinosaur because they had been around for over a million years. And their appearance hadn't changed at all. Looks a bit like a fish, but it's got hands. And that's exactly what this has got. No face fish. We discovered a special kind of fish which appears to have no face. In a groundbreaking underwater expedition in Australia's unexplored areas, a truly strange fish unseen for over a century was discovered. This bizarre creature around two feet long appeared to be faceless with no visible eyes and a mouth underneath its body. The two tiny red spots on its body were thought to be its nostrils, suggesting it might be a completely new marine species. As the only specimen found, scientists carefully placed it in an ice box and transported it to a research center for thorough analysis. The extremely rare faceless fish has added a fascinating chapter to marine exploration. The faceless fish was found around five kilometers below the sea. Crab fish. What seemed like an ordinary fish at first glance turned out to be a hybrid of a crab and a fish. Observing its claws, it became evident that it was alive out of water, a feat normal fish cannot accomplish. The video showcasing this odd creature was posted on TikTok and immediately went viral due to its unusual features. The fish didn't resemble a crab, a fish, or a crawfish. Instead, it appeared to be a strange combination of both species, exhibiting features from both. Maybe this is a result of some aliens experimenting on marine life on Earth. Giant eel. All right, so we're gonna grab this guy, take him up to the fresh. Finding a big eel in shallow water is pretty normal, but seeing one alive stuck on a wall and asking for help is not something you see every day, especially when the snake is so huge. Get him back up into the fresh. Don't worry, man, we got you. You gotta try to put it back where it belongs like this guy did when he found a massive eel stuck on the side of a wall trying to get out of the dry and back into its wet home. After making sure he hadn't gotten bitten, the young guy rescued the long fish and helped it swim back into its freshwater home. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Mutant lizard. <laughs> A strange animal in Singapore's Geylang River puzzled people when it was seen swimming. The odd creature looked like it had a fin, tail, and a big mouth with whiskers. It moved slowly near a concrete wall in the river before vanishing. Locals used to seeing unusual wildlife couldn't figure out if it was a fish or a reptile. Some thought it might be a type of lizard, while others thought it could be a monitor lizard carrying a fish in its mouth. Two-Headed Catfish <laughs> A catfish with two heads might sound like a made-up creature, but it's actually a real thing. In November of last year, someone caught a tiny two-headed catfish from a river. These kinds of mutants usually don't survive and die right after being born. So finding one with a fully grown second head in place of its tail is pretty unusual. There was a video showing the fish squirming around. And while some people joked about it being fake, the way the creature moved seemed genuine. What's your take on it? Humanoid floater. <laughs> a strange creature was found near a shore causing confusion among locals in China. A man picked it up and a video surfaced online gaining attention. The creature resembling a large flat baby appeared to move its limbs and head. Some viewers speculated it might be a new species or a mutated starfish. 
However, a British zoologist suggested it could be a modified mass of sponge. Although some suggested the man might be involved in a hoax, manipulating the creature for attention. Anyways, we aren't confirming it yet. Maybe it is a new species yet to be discovered. Or just a gingerbread man or something Bigfoot stepped on. Red-bellied piranha. Just give it a devil. A fisherman conducted an intense experiment pitting a red-bellied piranha colony against a chicken. The test involves simulating distress in the bird, creating a scenario where it appears injured. The piranhas cautiously approached, sending a scout to assess the situation. If the prey exhibits violent reactions, the entire pack retreats. But in this case, the piranhas swarm in after a brief hesitation and started to devour the chicken like they were in the middle of a feast, leaving nothing but its skeleton behind. The fisherman then bravely handled a piranha, showcasing its powerful jaws capable of cutting through flesh and even metal. To get some idea of how much it bites, if I put the blade in its mouth... Oh my god! Gator Serpent Look at that. A weird creature resembling a combination of an alligator, fish, and eel stirred up online discussions after being recorded swimming in the waters off southeastern North Carolina. The video, shared on Facebook, garnered over 123,000 views. In the 43-second video, the creature surfaced with a sputter of air and then started slithering like a snake, displaying an alligator-like head. The footage was captured by charter boat captain Daniel Griffey, who was shocked to see this unreal sight. Giant Snake In a video from Brazil, a man spotted a massive snake hiding in the bushes while he was on a boat. He tried poking it with a stick. It turned out to be a huge anaconda, likely full from eating something big. The men on the boat were amazed to see the size of the thing that was captured in the film. However, they were lucky enough that the huge snake was in no mood to harm them. He just wanted to enjoy his meal. But after witnessing this snake, one thing was clear, anacondas from the movie aren't the only massive snakes out there. Even they won. Xenofish This creature will open your eyes. A man was boating in a river near Bruni when he came across an unusual floating creature. The creature looked like a cross between a dolphin and a xenomorph. Odd, right? Well, believe it or not, it had the long, sharp mouth of the alien predator. However, it was lurking in the river for its next hunt. But the question remains, how did it get there? Maybe aliens have left one of their pets behind, or it might be equivalent to the Russian spy whale just working for the aliens. River Splash After a big storm, a couple was scooping water out of their boat. When the guy tossed the water out, they saw big splashes. They happened to record it once and saw huge splashes everywhere. They both got scared and said that they will never swim there again. The water turned all spooky, making it apparent the possibility of a giant creature beneath the surface. The splash was massive, like the ones when you toss Mentos and cola. However, it was later discovered that the water bodies had manatees, large, fully aquatic, mostly avarious marine animals, sometimes known as sea cows. Sturgeon. Catching giant white sturgeon on the Fraser River. A fisherman went sturgeon fishing on the Fraser River in Chilliwack, British Columbia. He was surprised by a rather uncommon scenario where he managed to capture a huge sturgeon. When he measured the giant fish, it turned out to be 8.5 feet in length. 102 inches. 102 inches. The common length for adult white sturgeon caught in fisheries or observed in the wild is often in the range of 7 to 12 feet. However, some individuals may grow even larger. In certain cases, white sturgeon have been reported to reach lengths of over 20 feet and weigh several hundred pounds. This fisherman was shocked to see a sturgeon this big. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Mega Conda. You play one of the largest things in the world, and we are diving 
it. In the dense river, a team of snake catchers face the challenge of a lifetime. After a slippery struggle, they triumphantly nabbed a colossal anaconda, the grandest thing they had ever laid eyes on. Stretching over 19 feet and weighing a whopping 300 pounds, the massive serpent showcased nature's sheer might. Examining the reptile closely, the team marveled at its sleek scales and intimidating presence. Despite the heart-pounding pursuit, they felt a sense of awe for the magnificent creature they had captured. In the heart of the untamed wilderness, the team had not only conquered the wild, but they had also unveiled the secrets hidden within the haunting depths of the river. Body-Free Fish A fish species was found by a fisherman in clear waters, and it took me a long time to figure out what I was looking at. Surprisingly, this fish had 90% of its body missing, yet it was seen swimming normally like other marine creatures. It must have been tough for the fish to survive in a world full of other marine animals who wanted it in her belly. But for onlookers, it was truly unbelievable. Some folks mentioned it was able to function because its brain was still alive but I'm still puzzled by its unique survival skill. Drone Eater A man was hovering his drone over a river, trying to capture the video shots of an alligator lurking below. Little did he know that he was in for a surprise. The man wasn't expecting the alligator to come out from the river and make a jump toward his drone. However, without warning, a massive alligator burst forth, snatching the drone in its powerful jaws. Ah! Its movement was so quick that it didn't give the man enough time to move the device away. Anyways, he was lucky enough to not be in the jaws himself, but he will have to spend a few more bucks on getting a new drone. Ah! Arapaima. Look at that massive female arapaima. While observing the water, this fisherman spotted an arapaima with a distinct red tail. Oh, there we go. That was one. Well. Using a special circle hook that may seem unlikely, to catch a fish, he threw the bait. Somehow, the fish took the bait, and after a challenging battle of about half an hour, it got caught. What came out shocked the fisherman, a massive arapaima, weighing around 150 pounds. Massive female arapaima, about 150 pounds. The creature-sized fish had a shiny scale, and seeing a fish this big wasn't your normal fishing day out in the wild. Humans I can't believe what I've just seen here in front of me, and it literally is a bone graveyard. In early 2019, two friends were walking by Deadman's Island when they found a bunch of bones. The pile, about six human jawbones, ribs, and pelvises. Some were buried in the muddy ground, and a few were sticking out. So, all of this has been eroded out of this island. Even though this spot was known as a burial place for prisoners who died from sickness in the 1800s, finding lots of bones scattered around was surprising and equally disturbing. Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what you would do if you found yourself in a situation like this. Look, I've just found a jawbone. Zombie Tour Guide Give off an eerie vibe similar to the infamous Evil Dead scene. There's this cool statue of a ferryman located in Wicklow, Ireland, acting as a river guide. Now isn't that spooky? The statue is all old and made of stone. The ferryman dude wears a hood so you can't see his face, adding a bit of mystery. He's got this big oar in one hand like he's been rowing people across the river forever. The other hand is out, maybe saying, end of the line, folks. People passing by wonder what stories this statue has seen. Some say it whispers about lost travelers from a long time ago. Devil Catfish That is a gunch. It's not a very big one. After spending hours wandering around in the Indian River, this guy spotted a rare species of fish. Catching it became another challenge as the fish flowed with the water to save itself. 
However, the determined angler decided to jump in and swim towards the fish. Finally, the fish came near the bank, making it easy to catch. Its unusual size and appearance justified why the anglers were so intent on catching it. That is a big fish. It was no ordinary fish, but the monstrous catfish, also known as the devil catfish, fittingly named for its strength. Monster Thames. On first look, the video is like, wow. That's... In a surprising video near the O2 arena, a man spotted a strange creature swimming in the River Thames, calling it the River Thames Monster. The footage got a lot of attention online, making everyone curious. If you closely observe the video, you can see that the giant creature has large scale-like structures probably on its back. However, the water trail gives us a slight indication of the possible size of the thing. And you know where we are headed? Probably a Godzilla lurking beneath a famous river. Who thought it might not be the right decade to make an appearance in the heart of London? Legendary Nessie By a river, a person claimed to have seen the mythical Loch Ness Monster. They described a strange creature in the water, saying it resembled the legendary Nessie. The eyewitness observed a large mysterious shape moving through the water, as it was constantly surfacing above the water. It made a noise and stayed in the same posture for about a few seconds before going back inside to be never seen again. Well, we aren't sure what it was, but here's a guess. It might be a regular elephant seal who wanted to get her few shots taken for Seal Fashion League. Dark Diver A man, while enjoying his morning coffee near a pier, spotted a mysterious creature resembling a sea serpent. The footage shows a long, dark entity emerging and submerging in the water, briefly resurfacing and swimming before disappearing. Despite the clear glimpse, determining the creature's identity proved challenging. Well, this might suggest that the idea of aliens being in the sky is now outdated. What if the mysteries of otherworldly encounters are concealed beneath the waves? Donut Monster This footage was filmed near the end of the Amazon River, where, in a rather calm environment, with not even a single tree moving, a weird scene occurred in the waters. On close inspection, it can be seen that something was moving in a rather circular shape beneath the water. As it begins to float on the surface, we can see a donut-like shape emerging in the center, before swimming back inside, leaving behind a black residue in the water. Could it be a large squid, which came back to life after ages? But what is it doing in a river? Or maybe it's a UFO spaceship. This is only something time will tell, right? Mermaid Maneuver During a family fishing trip to the Hawkesbury River in Sydney, a woman was astonished when she encountered a large creature splashing near their boat, recording the incident. She described the creature as appearing human as it lifted its head above the water's surface for about 10 seconds. Could it be possible? A mermaid beneath the rivers of Australia? But before we get too excited, the identity remains a mystery, with many believing it to be a seal to a bull shark or whale calf. Well, unless we make it sure, this creature can't become a tourist attraction. Altmaha ha proof that there's a lot next monster somewhere in Georgia. On a sunny day by the Altmaha River, a man went fishing for a catfish. He sat quietly on the riverbank, hoping for a big catch. Suddenly, he saw something strange in the water. A long, dark shape was moving quickly. Trying to figure out what it was, he was surprised to see a creature with a head like a horse and a long, snake-like body. This creature is called the Alatmaha, a legendary water creature said to live in the Alatmaha River in Georgia, USA. People have talked about it for a long time describing it as a big snake or eel with a horse-like head. It's important to know that there's no scientific proof that the Alatmaha exists. Most people think it's just a story or part of local tales. 
river breath. A man was filming near a river when he came across a huge creature underneath the water surface. The creature was completely submerged. It had no intention of coming out of the water. The man didn't get up close, but it looked like the strange thing inside the water body was aware of his presence. The creature did something out of the blue, making splashes inside the water. Maybe it gave the man a warning to not come close, or probably have taken a breath. But one thing was for sure, it was there, and it was pretty much alive. Mud Slide Croc a bunch of tourists were surprised when they spotted a strange creature. It looked like nothing they'd ever seen. A long, scaly body with a strong tail. But the weirdest part? It didn't have any front legs. That caught everyone off guard. The creature's appearance raised a bunch of questions, making the tourists rethink what they knew about animals. It became a moment they won't forget, making them super curious about the mysterious creature that might be hiding out there as it was sliding back to its natural habitat. Higher necked croc. Crocodile in danger. Who else would you call but the Aussie Outback Wrangler? To save a crocodile that's had a car tire stuck around its neck since 2016. In 2016, a substantial cash prize was offered to anyone who could assist a troubled creature, an endangered Siamese crocodile spotted in Indonesia. It wore a rubber part like a necklace, causing concern among officials. There was fear that the growing reptile could be strangled by the inflexible item, as it had been stuck for over five years. Despite several attempts to free it, the tire necklace proved stubborn until it was finally removed. After its release back into its natural habitat, questions lingered about how the robust creature got entangled in rubbery trouble. However, this incident highlighted the extraordinary efforts made in the past to rescue. Colossal Marlin A video from 2006, shared by the Ultimate Fishing Channel, captures an amazing moment in fishing. A bunch of excited anglers decided to catch a large black marlin that was leaping on the water's surface. After a stunning jump, the fish unexpectedly slipped off the line splashing its five-foot-long bill wildly to escape a sea monster's attack. Despite the struggle, the marlin vanished. But a few minutes later, the group spotted something and pulled it out. On the boat, they found only the big head of the 1,000-pound marlin that was splashing just moments ago in the water. Tree-Trapped Cow The title might have been puzzling since we often hear about small animals, like kittens getting stuck in tires or fences. However, it was quite unusual to come across a large animal, such as a cow, trapped in the woods. Two years ago, a video captured a group of individuals standing in deep water, attempting to rescue a hefty cow. The unfortunate creature had become trapped during a significant flood, entangled in a tree slightly above the ground. Fortunately, a rescue team spotted the situation and employed a chainsaw to cut the branches around the cow, liberating the large mammal. Alligator Intruder Oh my... This family of snouted alligators seemed determined to snatch anything they found near their habitat. And by anything, I mean absolutely anything. Take that hungry alligator, for instance who just couldn't resist stealing a little boy's catch while he was fishing with his dad. Oh. My. The young fisherman was giving it his all to reel in a big fish. But just as he was about to celebrate his only catch of the day, a massive water intruder shot out of the water, grabbed the boy's catch, and devoured the entire fish. Thankfully, no one got hurt. After tearing the boy's fishing pole into the water, the alligator swam away with a satisfied belly full of tasty food. Undead Gator A headless river creature still blinking and moving its scary snout, not from a zombie movie, but a true event in October 2020. A farmer discovered a strange crocodile near a river. The beheaded animal seemed to have died with its snout locked tight. 
Even after its head was cut off, the gator displayed its skills, blinking eyes and snapping jaws. The truth behind this eerie tale is the natural reflex twitching of muscles in the reptile, causing movement even after death. But this might be a spooky experience for us all. Noglus fish. Following that, there was a short clip showing a fisherman holding a fish without its head. Strangely, the trawl could be seen twisting and wriggling back and forth. It was unclear whether the fish was already beheaded before being caught or if the fisherman was the one responsible. More headless fish could be seen in a nearby tub. Regardless of the real background story, the fish continuously twitched, as if hoping to return to life. Battle Croc yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Uh -huh. In a dense jungle, the thirsty leopard discovered a river. Unaware of the lurking danger, he bent down to drink when a silent crocodile approached for a surprise. Just in time, the leopard sensed the threat and agilely evaded the croc's strike. While he was lucky enough to act swiftly for a bonus life, and Mr. Croc had to work a little more on his camouflage skills for a better jump scare, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Uh -huh. City. Giant lobster. The biggest lobster that we have ever caught, and the only reason we were able to catch it is because he has small claws. Back in 2022, this fisherman managed to catch an unusually massive lobster in the Gulf of Maine. The lobster was easily pulled in due to its weak and relatively small claws. Although they seem normal, even small lobsters typically have large claws. Claws don't match his body, but if you look at his body... However, this one didn't follow the usual pattern, having smaller claws compared to its body size. Aside from that, the lobster was in good health. Jacob, a fifth-generation fisherman, believed that his ancestors might have encountered this remarkable creature as well. His grandfather and even his great-grandfather may have also captured it. My father has very likely caught this lobster at one point in his life, so is my grandfather. They would release the lobster back into the water with a treat, hoping that their children would someday witness this 100-year-old lobster. It's time for today's open discussion. Doing this and violently killing these animals can come after anybody. Residents in Loxacachi Groves neighborhood were shocked and disturbed when they discovered three large alligators without their heads me nervous you know because i have to be more protective this incident had left the entire community on the edge however there is a glooming concern about the potential threat posed by the unknown entity everyone has been trying to identify the puzzle pieces who could have been possible for such a gruesome act could this have been done by another animal or a man maybe aliens who can come in contact with these giant crocodiles and leave them in a condition like this let us know in the comments what you think of it. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.